True Cara is originally Tier Lab, but True Cara is more about the true cornea and the true corneal health. And it's way beyond osmolarity. It's just getting patients better outcomes and optimizing the corneal surface by using appropriate diagnostic devices, which we're gonna talk about today, to get those best outcomes, especially with what I do in my practice, cataract and refractive surgery. So most things we do in practice are like corneal staining or tear breakup time, and patients don't understand what those things mean. With osmolarity, it's an objective test. There's a number. It's kind of like the A1C for diabetics. There's a number tied to it, and patients understand they want to get the number perfect, and if the number is bad and hyperosmolar, I can tell them that this is gonna impair their ability to have a good outcome. So we can treat them ahead of time, preoperatively, get the ocular surface optimized, and in my practice we do at least 40% premium IOLs, so it's really critical that we nail this ahead of time, and having an objective test with osmolarity uh, helps me get that optimized as quick as possible, and patients will believe and the expectations set so they actually will care about treating themselves to get that number normalized. Yeah, so the Epitropolis study was great because it showed at least one in five patients were hyperosmolar and there was great variability and it actually impaired the keratometry readings. Um, so it gave us inaccurate IOL power calculations. And when you're doing a lot of premium IOLs like I do in my practice, that's a problem. And you don't get a second chance with premium IOLs. And if you don't get the outcome right from the beginning, you have a lot of chair time with patients. So I look at that study to just support why we do osmolarity and minimize the chair time we get postoperatively. First thing, it's portable. How easy this is. It's small, easy. My staff will actually put it in their pocket, can go room to room. Um, you don't have to have it tied to a base anymore. The other thing is it's precise. It only takes about 15 seconds to get the reading and do everything. And it records the readings in the device so we can go back and enter them into the EMR system. So you don't have to rush and enter it right then and there. It will restore um, several readings and you go back and add them all into your EMR system. We call it Scout Pro. The beauty of the new device. It's portable. I'm holding it right now. It's lightweight, only takes 15 seconds to do the whole treatment. We, rec we can record, my technicians will carry it in their pocket room to room. They can record several readings so they don't have to attach it back to the base and then enter the reading in the EMR system. It will hold the readings. They can do lots of rooms, lots of patients, and then enter the, uh, the readings in the EMR system later. So it's precise, it's portable. It's, it's, Scalp Pro is making our lives easy to, to record osmolarity readings. You know, in my practice, I, I have up to 40% of premium IOLs. And the importance of using the Scout Pro to get osmolarity readings ahead of time is to optimize the ocular surface because if you don't have an optimized ocular surface, you get inaccurate IOL power readings, which will then give us poor outcomes and then lots of chair time. So the Epitropolis study and some of the asterisk guidelines have come out have really shown the need for objective testing such as osmolarity to help improve the ocular surface around refractive cataract surgery and premium IOL surgery to nail the outcome from the outset and minimize chair time. For those who currently use the older system or have never used the Scout Pro system, osmolarity testing in general is critical for various reasons. Optimizing the ocular surface by having objective data, objective numbers to be able to convince a patient why they have to get better. They'll actually, it'll reinforce patients to be more compliant with their ocular surface treatment because they'll be motivated to get a better number and to help themselves. So objective data is always critical. Secondly, you want to get the best outcomes from the get-go. When you ever have to do enhancements and anything else in a refractive cataract surgery patient or a pure refractive surgery patient, you add chair time when you add chair time, you have unhappy patients and less referrals. So osmolarity has become the objective standard, in my opinion, to optimize ocular surface and get the best outcomes in refractive cataract surgery as possible.